and energy and Energy Australia of using their market power to take a bigger cut out of retail power bills than retailers in other rich countries. According to a report commissioned by Getter, retailers charge about three times higher than retailers charge in the UK. Joining me now is Miriam Lyons from GetUp. Miriam, thanks so much for your time. Now, uh, we have to point out that GetUp commissioned this research uh, and part of the reason is that you're also pushing people to move to uh, a greener power retail retailer in uh, the form of PowerShop. Now, what is a PowerShop? Would that mean that more uh, retailers, more, more consumers are off the electricity grid? Uh, so PowerShop is just one example of the many greener and cheaper retailers that are out there in the market that are alternatives to the big three electricity companies which have been charging such, such high retail markets as we've demonstrated in this report. But actually the main message that we want people to take away from this report is that the electricity market as a whole is absolutely failing consumers. Mm. We wanted to do an investigation into what was really pushing up power prices because there's been a lot of debate about that recently. So what um, is and that sparked so, a, a so, meeting, yeah? Yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt, but one of the arguments we always hear is that there is almost a critical mass of consumers needed on the power grid and the move to renewable energy uh, can actually upset that balance sometimes. So the retailers, uh, so the consumers still on the grid actually have to pay more. Are, are you well, saying that's Just to be perfect? really clear, we're not encouraging mass defection from the electricity <laughs> okay. grid. We would like to see electricity be run more in the public interest and for it to be easier for more members of the public to get a good deal out of it. So one of the things that's really been highlighted in this report is actually a different alternative, which is the ACT government's approach. So in the ACT, the regulated retailers Retail market has much, much lower markups on the bills. Um, so, compared to say in South Australia, where your average household is paying $650 a year just for the, essentially the ticket clipping from the big three energy retailers there, so AGL, Origin, Energy Australia, that's $650 more, that's $425 more than people are paying for that retail charge in the ACT. So just to be clear, that's not the cost of distributing the electricity, it's not the cost of generating the electricity. Okay, um, and the it's always, until found, this report, it's yeah. been really easy for the retailers to point the finger in the other direction and say, oh, I'm sorry, wholesale prices are higher, we're going to have to put the bills up. Mm, what this report has done, true. and it's really new and it's really clear, is provide absolute rock solid evidence that no, it's, you know, these retailers have, are charging massive, massive markups. So on average, it's growing to 38% of a customer's bill. Um, and that's the real message that we want people to be taking away is that deregulation has just absolutely failed to deliver what was promised to consumers. We were promised that we would see more competition and that would drive down prices. It clearly hasn't happened. But aren't you ignoring the incentive that deregulation uh, brings for uh, energy providers to look for better ways to uh, in innovate and deliver energy in a, in a different well, way and different we, energy we sources. Would, we would absolutely love to see more competition. Of course, we would love to see more people switching to the cheaper offers that are available on the market. Um, you know, that would be a really good step in the right direction. But the fact is that the way that people read their bills, they look at their bills and they can't really figure out where all of the prices are coming from, where all the costs are coming from. You know, it's not very transparent. You're average customer how you actually go about switching so we think that the government really has a responsibility as well you know obviously there's a lot of consumers are getting absolutely ripped off particularly badly in South Australia but you know clearly paying hundreds of dollars a year more than is necessary given the model of the ACT where the markup is much much lower what the ACT also shows us is that you can have power that's both cheaper and cleaner at the same time they're on track to get to hundred percent renewable energy with their really smart scheme of running reverse auctions, um, which locks in lower wholesale costs, but that protects the um, residents of the ACT over the long term. Now, that's something we'd like to see a lot more of. What we found in this report and also another report that the Melbourne Energy Institute put out uh, last week, we've actually got another one coming out on Thursday that shows on the generator side, we're actually seeing huge gaining. So there's a small handful of gas and diesel generators in South Australia well, who just, have been I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I qu quickly just want to ask you about gas because we're also paying too much for uh, natural gas in this country, but we are a huge exporter of it. Mm. Japan and other places are getting much cheaper uh, gas than we are. Is yeah. GetUp pushing this as well? 
Yeah, we're very, very concerned about the evidence that the IEFA group have put out today. And I, what I think that we clearly need is some kind of truly independent public inquiry into what really is pushing up power prices. You know, there's a lot of finger pointing, but there is some damning new evidence, both from that report that's just come out today, from the Melbourne Energy Institute report um, last week, from another report that we're putting out on Thursday, from this one today. There's evidence piling up that the national electricity market is broken. It's not delivering for consumers. Consumers. It's also clearly not delivering for the planet. We're not making the transition to 100% renewable power as fast as we could and as fast as we should. Um, and we're not uh, taking advantage of the fact that we do have these new players, these new competitors in the market that can be a chance of breaking the market power of these big gas companies and of the big three. Miriam Lyons, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.